Hello everyone, myself Shilpi Moitro, Assistant Professor of English in Falakata College, Alipur Duar, under North Bengal University. Today's lesson plan is based on The Lamp by William Blake. This poem is in Core Course 9 under British Romantic Literature in Unit 1 and is for Semester 4 students of English Honours. William Blake's poem The Lamp is a true representation of innocence which stands in stark opposition with the poem The Tiger from the Songs of Experience. Interesting enough, these two poems, The Lamp and The Tiger, should always be read side by side for a critical understanding about the contradictory states of the human mind. For a simple analysis and a clear understanding of this poem, the students are advised to follow a compare and contrast method with the other poem, that is the tiger, so that they can have a clear understanding and a simpler form of notifications about the characteristic features of the poem tiger as well as the lamp. For a simple understanding, this thing is a much required thing. Although innocence and experience are the two variations of the same mind, yet with the absence of one, the presence of the other loses its proper symbolic imagery. The Lamb belongs to the Songs of Experience which was written in 1789 and presents the soul of the child which is beautiful, tender, calm and is uncontaminated by the practical realities of the adult world. As we go through this poem, we can actually visualize the innocent child asking a series of questions or in fact throwing a series of rhetorical questions to the lamb about its origin and creation. He is also very much thoughtful about the lamb's knowledge about his own creator. He wants to introduce the creator who is none other than Christ, who is the symbol of mercy and who is childlike and is innocent, who is full of love, pity and gentleness. We can sense the tone of eagerness and curiosity that exist in the questions that have been asked by the child narrator. He wants to he wants to let the scholars and the readers know that the lamb should acknowledge his creator in a hopeful manner. His creator is someone who had given him a soft woolen cover have fed him, protected him, and have given him shelter in this cruel world, which is full of dread realities. The simple yet significant features of the lamb is contrasted with the intense, dark, and terrible beauty of the tiger. In each and every line of these two poems, the characteristic features of these two creations are presented in a very subtle manner. As the child could not control his excitement and admiration for Christ, he himself ventures to answer all the questions that have been asked by him. The little lamb is told by the child that it was made by the delicate hands of the God. God is an omnipotent and omnipresent phenomenon who has created both the good and the evil at the same time and with the same level of patience and creativity. His spontaneity, his spontaneity is uh, admired by the readers when they come to know that he can create two stark opposite creatures in a much more familiar manner. The God, the Lamb, the Child and the Tiger are inextricably related to one another and have a singular kind of identification. It is amidst the variation and opposites that the thread of similarity lies. The God is meek and mild and the child has the intuitive knowledge of God and his qualities.
the lord is meek and mild but the lord is also ferocious and wrathful the child and the lamb enjoy every form of solace and security under the loving care of god songs of innocence and songs of experience represent two contradictory states of human nature as it has been referred earlier that in songs of innocence blake gives an imaginative picture of the states of innocence which has been derived directly from the bible this pastoral tradition has been infused with the romantic fascination about childhood these poems were composed as blake tells us in the introduction with a rural pen and i strain the water clear In arranging his work under two headings Blake follows his own maxim that without contraries there is no progression and somehow the readers can actually follow this statement that without contradiction the real meaning never appears or never surfaces and it never has any clarity he has distilled his thoughts into the shape of a song why song because these two poems has a particular rhythmic appeal that soothes the minds of the readers and it is more direct and more immediate and has a far more simplistic appeal and flavor the two sections innocence and experience are contrasting elements which have been put in a single design that means it follows the same narratorial technique the only difference is between the narratorial voices in breaks the tiger we find that the adult narrator is someone who is speaking about the creation and in lamb we find a child uh, narrator who is the symbol of innocence The first part sets out an imaginative vision of the state of innocence and the second part that is the state of experience shows how life challenges and corrupts and destroys every form of innocence. But experience is also an inescapable fact of human life. It is a necessary stage or it is a necessary form by which the cycle of our being is constructed or structured. Blake also writes an insistent manner. He presents the anguish of the world and contrasts it with the childlike past and the childlike conceptions of the human mind. The lamb and the tiger are symbols for two different states of the human soul. They do not supplant each other. One is a supplement to the other. When the lamb is destroyed by experience, the tiger is needed to restore the world. So therefore we can also say that to restore the world we need experience as well we need destruction to create a new world we need a phoenix like reincarnation and probably we can also say that after diminishing the state of innocence we need the reincarnation of innocence in the form of experience which is very important In the songs of experience also we find that Blake sets his poem about the tiger with a more frightening questions like the tiger counters the lamb and when we read both these poems side by side we can actually feel the characteristic features and it helps us to understand these two poems written by Blake in a far more constructive manner we can read all the aspects and we can even understand it even if we go with the simplistic flow of the lines then also and without even indulging in any kind of theoretical aspects like binary oppositions or deconstruction we can actually follow the simplistic pattern and we can get a very good grasp on the understanding of these two poems but in these two poems we also find that there are different forms of attitudes that have been represented by the poet it is only because probably the narrators are different and therefore the quality of the verses also differ the songs of innocence appears to be sweet simple and soothing and their images are also taken from the bible and the pastoral tradition while we come to the songs of experience we find that the intensity has a compelling kind of passion it is far more dark and at the same time it is bright 
and also it does not have the simplistic appeal of the former poem and why these two contradictions are present it is only because blake himself is a pre romantic although he infuses romantic elements in his works and along with romanticism we also find the concept of mysticism very much compellingly presented in his work his romanticism is evidenced in his mysticism in his symbolism and in his lyricism he appears to be a singer because his words and verses actually soothes our mind and it has the perfect rhyming quality in his images and music he anticipates some of the great lyricists of the romantic poetry including wordsworth shelley and keats so i hope my students have understood the small lesson plan delivered by me and i hope you like this short lesson plan on the lamp and i would definitely love to get some kind of feedbacks if it is possible in any manner from you all i know this lockdown phase is very difficult it is extremely stressful for the students and you are torn by different levels of dilemma and every day is becoming more difficult for you to concentrate but believe me don't lose lose faith in yourselves and keep going thank you